Hello guys, this is Benji from Legacy Invaders, and I wanted to show you Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro The Dawn of a New Era, because it is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro that actually has links currently functional. Not that YGO Pro Percy or Dev Pro aren't working on them. At the very least, The Dawn of a New Era is like already in beta testing. Not that the other ones aren't doing well as well, they just have no real date on when you'll be able to test on them. And the only other YGO Pro that I've seen that has links is YGO Core, which you can get on Yu-Gi-Oh! Kingdom on Facebook or something. Um, but I'll show you to use this one. It's in English. Uh, links currently work, at least the ones that I've been testing work. Uh, there's been a bunch of there's a bunch of issues with this YGO Pro, but I'll, I'll show you them when we get to them. But for now, I'm just going to walk you through like the process of obtaining a YGO Pro at links. So first, you have to go to YGOPro.org, which... Seems like a very official website name, so it's been around for a while. This is their website. Down here you can see these are the downloads. There is one for Windows and one for Mac. And I actually have downloaded both of them, and I did get both of them to work. The Mac one has significantly less options uh, than the Windows one does. And I found that the Mac one only seemed to work if, after installation, you put the, the file inside of your Applications folder. Additionally, because um, this is really a Windows program, it actually uses Wine Bottler to actually run the Windows program. So it's kind of got a lot of um, files on there. So it's kind of a big file uh, for that reason. Uh, someone told me that this thing has bloatware, but you know I haven't seen any of these things. So I'm just going to tell you what I've seen and what I know. Uh, so firstly, if you click this, it's a Google Drive link. So it's going to go to some Google thing, it'll ask you to download it. The file's too big for Google to do a virus scan, but you're welcome to do your own virus scan. My computer's a piece of shit. Um, I don't really know how well it would work here to even check it anyway. But if you download it, I already have downloaded it, so I'm just going to like point it out. Uh, it's here. This is the installer. If you run it, um, just say in English, and it'll do whatever it does. Uh, and then you'll get this. Uh, not that. All right, so this is the main screen for YGO Pro Dawn of a New Era. Uh, first things first, um, options are here, and there are a couple things I would do first thing once you, if you get this, and the first thing is in the options menu, um, is you might want to turn off auto chain order if that works for your games. You can also change random placement, auto monster placing, and auto spell and trap placing however you need to, because in link format, placement all matters. Um, other things. Here it says show advertisements. You definitely want to disable that. I don't know what this is, but I disabled it. And then there's these messages that pop up when you win games that tell you you win gold, but it seems like gold is completely worthless in this game. And you need diamonds, diamonds you have to pay into. But I mean, the game works, which is what I'm just going to show you. I just want you to see everything before I do things. All right, so it's the save. Um, all right, so when you log in, there's actually a login screen, which I didn't show it straightforward. And it talks about verifying your email address, which is just if you lose your password, which I didn't do because uh, I I don't want to get more messages about advertisements because this place is ridiculous when it comes to advertisements. Um, so the dual room looks like this. You have unranked and ranked and tournaments. I haven't played the tournaments and I haven't played with ranked so far. I'm just playing with unranked. Um, if you go into unranked and then go back to home, It'll actually, when you go to Duel, it'll go back here to PvP, wherever you were. So I got stuck in single player once, where you have a dual bot, which currently doesn't have links. A campaign mode that they'll apparently never, ever finish. There's a puzzle mode like everybody else. I have no idea what skills test is. But if I went back here, oh, not back there. If I went here and I clicked home, I get stuck forgetting how to get back to PvP, so you can press back. So player versus player is here. Uh... Do unranked, and you can host, or you can find a person who's got your settings you want. You can set the settings you want, and just play with players who are online. All right, now, uh, deck editor. Let's go back. Uh, the deck editor is always down here. Also on the home screen, you can click the deck editor. It has replays like everything else. I don't think I have any replays at the moment. It has this kind of neat-looking blue screen, which is kind of cool, but truth is, I don't really like it so much, and... If you know how to alter your backgrounds and things with any of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! Pros, you can do that as well. Um, you can get to the deck editor from here. This is like the generic Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Um, 
but I'm going to go to the deck. This brings up the deck editor. This is an Inferno deck I play. Um, here you have settings, which is just like everything else. I couldn't tell you what these question marks are to save my life. Uh, options. You can change the auto placements and so on. You can even do that during a game if for some reason you see your opponent search like uh, shut line, the trap card that negates anything in its column. So it's per perhaps you see them search it or it gets pops up in product duality or something and then maybe you, you'll want to disable it. So you can do that. Uh, the log is here. You can see cards people have played. And the, the engines for searching is the same as anything else. If you type in a card name, let's say I write uh, Exodia, it'll only find cards that have Exodia in their name. Um, actually, I found a literary, so Exodia is in there somewhere, so that's odd. When I did this before, it only found cards with them in their names when I clicked full search, but that's fine. If it's working better, that's, even, that's better. Um, so let's take a look at how to do this. Oh yeah, you can. all the link monsters are in here, whether they work or not, I couldn't tell you. I've only been testing for Worlds format, so uh, there's no Link Monster with Exodia in its name. So I, I don't know how up to date it is. I don't really follow all the Japanese trends and cards. Uh, let's go back and take a look at a duel. Uh, so single player dueling the duel bot. They have four decks. There are these character decks as well. They play kind of crazy and weird shit. Darts is like impossible to kill. Uh, I don't know. I don't even want to bother playing with it. Uh, let's take a look over at dueling. So back to home, uh, duel. I'll go back to PvP, unranked. I'm just going to play someone real fast and I'm going to quit right away. Uh, I'm going to host. This says join because, I don't know, it must be my screen. I can't see the button, but it's, it says join. Alright, so I'm using Infernoids. I have the new master rules set. Um, apparently there is a four minute time limit automatically. I'm just going to wait for an opponent who's going to find me. Whoever Great DD DD, uh, Great DD is here, he's going to get a win. Um, Rock, paper, scissors was there. Oh, something else. This happens to my brother. It happened to me just now, but it doesn't happen that often. There's a chat room feature, and they have a bot. And the bot is Seto Kaiba, which is apparently the name of the creator of the program. And it constantly asks you for stuff, like for money. And, to, and then it even offers you to stop receiving these messages by paying for the ad blocker, so it's an ad that asks you to ad block them. It's really stupid, it realizes how annoying it is, and it's driving me insane. So, uh, honestly, you just minimize it, and it doesn't come up anymore. Like, it's there. If you close it, it's going to ask you again, but I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, so you can see you have link zones. Um, everything here is normal. It works as expected. Uh, over here, you'll see ignore chain, always chain, and normal chain. Uh, now, on some programs... I don't know how to unclick these things. All right. On some of the programs, um, there's two different major modes for them. That's, uh, uh, what are they called? It's called mouse mode is one, where that means when you hold down the left click, it'll light up always chain. And when you hold down the right click, it'll pop up ignore chain. But on here, it doesn't do that. You need to use your A key and your S key to get anywhere. Uh, how do I kill this monster? Um... This monster is kind of tough to kill. Uh, Scarlight can get over him. Can I make Scarlight? No. Hmm. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce his monster back to his hand, which is kind of silly. And then I'm going to make High Speed Roy Chanbara. And then just push for a shit ton of damage. Um... And this is all just because I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to demonstrate how the game works. And it's in English. I'm not a big fan of these col this color scheme, but again, you can change a lot of that in skins by changing files with your own files. I'm not going to teach that here. I could do that maybe in another video. Um, it has these weird icons for people where you can like win more icons and you can change. As you see, his, his bar is changed because you can buy changes to your bars. Uh, you can search peep your friends in the duel room to play specifically against somebody you want to play. Um, what the hell? Someone actually plays this card? Protector Eyes of Blue. Alright, so that's summon that. Now he can special his, uh, his alternative. Oh wait, he targeted that? Uh-oh. <laughs> I might get OTK'd. That's okay. It'll be a good demo. Um, I have music low at the moment. Sounds low, because they tend to be really loud. 
Oh, they have a couple alternative artworks for cards. Um, can see it better here. Can't see it so well there. Oh, oh no, it's Dragon Spirit of White. I really want you to put it on an extra deck monster. So I can use my fusion spell. Yay, he put out an extra deck monster. So I'm going to take a bit of damage, but not that much damage. He actually could... Oh, dang. It would have been really stupid if he attacked into me with blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Because if he did, I'd gain the 200 attack. I'd have gone to 2600 and he'd have died. And he wouldn't have been able to tag out because that would have been in the damage step. So he'd have been screwed. Now, he can't tag out to get away from this fusion summon, which is pretty cool. So here we go. Fusion, baby. Fusion. I just want everyone to see how this program runs, and it's not so crazy. Now, people have told me that there are cards on here with effects that don't work properly. I couldn't tell you if that's true. It might be true. I have no idea. I haven't had a problem yet. Ah, he wants to get rid of his extra deck monster for a new extra deck monster? I don't know why, but he did it. That's going to accomplish nothing. Let's go summon big-ass monster. Deviati, the Anoku, which is in my hand. And I can send five more from the deck, so let's go. One, two, uh, put one in the graveyard, that's three, four, and five. Bang. Big giant fusion monster here. Uh, let's toss my other Tierras and my Omega in the graveyard mess with his graveyard if necessary. Uh, he doesn't have anything in there at the moment that's productive. He's got to throw away three of his cards. And if I notice correctly, he's currently got... He had a 13-card extra deck, so he's probably not the greatest player in the world, even though he is great DD. Um, Alright. So it's still my turn. My levels are now locked at 11, so... What did he thank me for? The Return of the Dragon Lords in the graveyard? Well, I don't want him to have Return of the Dragon Lords. You can go back to your deck. That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, let's reduce the level of all these guys to one so I can summon bigger guys. My monsters can be destroyed by that, so I don't want to do that. Can't really do any damage at the moment, but I can get over all of these monsters. Here, your monster's too big. He needs to die. Let's crash here. And attack directly for 14, and then kill him next turn, if I get the chance. So yeah, I like this program so far. It seems pretty smooth to me. I haven't had the issues that other people claim to be having, so uh, and I can't speak for much. Gotta hold down the A and S keys to ignore and always chains. Um, why, why they put the always chain as A, I guess, makes sense. The never chain as S, I don't know. Okay, that monster is annoying. Oh, does that target? What monster is it going to summon? I don't think I don't think um, that particular blue eyes effect targets uh, graveyard monsters, so I can't stop him from bringing out a guy. So I'll let him bring out his guys. And then next turn, I'll just summon an Oku and kill them all. So he's got regular blue eyes. That went to the graveyard for, for Master. Well, hopefully you learned how to download this game and see if it even looks like it's worth playing. Um, I at least think it's worth playing, uh, especially since I hate dueling books so much. But uh, but yeah, it's a slightly annoying game. Please pick the wrong one. Be stupid. Ah, shit. It wasn't that stupid. All right. What can we do? Uh, that's annoying. 
I don't have to do a lot of damage. No weights do I have left. He's smart enough to know who to pop. Uh, no, he doesn't know who to pop. Alright. You can kill that for me. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still got six no eights and a seventh on the field. Alright, so that should be dark matter. I don't even think I have three guys. Oh, what the hell does he do? I've never read this card. Once per turn, if you detach one exceed target, one, one card on the field, destroy it. Well, now I have no reason to not tribute myself. Uh, you don't need Dragon Spirit of White in the graveyard. I mean, if he's got me, he's got me. I didn't really plan to play this whole game out. I figured it just seemed like I was close enough to doing it. Is that going to give him an attack boost? And then put a Blue Eyes in graveyard. Okay, whatever. He still doesn't have a Return of the Dragon Lords. And I could actually summon two monsters. So one will kill him. Oh. Recycling? That's so sick. Alright, so... This is going to be really cool. Oh, do I do that? I mean, I can... No, I'll just do the smart play and try to kill. So assuming he doesn't actually activate an effect, which he may, which I don't think there was one. All right, uh, let's draw a card. How did he not see that coming? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll take it. Sorry, boss, misclicks matter, and I guess that's the only benefit of manual Yu-Gi-Oh. You're less likely to have a misclicky moment. Well, you're gone. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you learned how to install this program and whether you want to use it or not. Uh, do whatever makes sense for you. So, uh, I is wrecked. And I'll see you in the next one.